One of the most fundamental emails that you can send to new subscribers in your audience list is a welcome email. It sets the stage, right? It sets the expectations. How am I gonna be part of this lovely, awesome community that I'm just coming into? So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create an automated welcome email in MailChimp customer journeys. So let's get started. So I've logged into my MailChimp dashboard and to get started under automations, we go to the automations category. We can click on overview and then we can click on build from scratch here at the top right, or we can choose a pre-built journey. We will be using a pre-built journey. They've done a lot of work, MailChimp has, on creating these pre-built journeys to get you started instantly in creating customer journeys, which I love but let's get started. We're gonna to go to pre-built journeys. I'm gonna scroll down here, find and welcome new contacts. That's where we're at right here. And we're gonna go down here and we're gonna find one that fits what we're doing. So we want to email new contacts. And we're gonna click this one right here, welcome new contacts. And it says right here, you're gonna need a paid MailChimp plan and an audience. Well, I hope you have an audience, right? So our objective here is a nurture relationship. You wanna make sure that you welcome new subscribers into your audience, make them feel the love, the warmth, the joy that they're gonna get out of subscribing to this email newsletter. You want them then to work through a series of points or checkpoints or roadmap so that you will nurture them to actually maybe purchase something uh, based on a lead bank that they've already downloaded. So that's our philosophy here, it's a nurture relationship. So we're gonna click on use this journey, select our audience, click continue. One of the things that I recommend that you do before you even start putting in journey pieces into MailChimp is to start to draw it out. You can physically draw it out on a piece of paper or you can go to a canvas whiteboard like I did here and go through the process of logically thinking about the steps that a person would you'd want to take through your journey and so i have subscribes to list i have add a welcome tag and then we're going to send a welcome email and then we're going to wait a certain amount of period and then we're going to be asking questions whether or not that person opened up an email and if they did then we're going to send another email if they didn't we're not going to send a reminder welcome email so you can go uh, as far as you'd like with this type of process this might be a little overkill because i'm asking questions every single time that they are not interacting with something or they are interacting with something so i think that might be a little bit much but you get the idea here is that you want to think about how you're gonna structure your journey so that when you get into MailChimp, you know exactly what's gonna go in what email, how it's gonna be laid out. So for that, let's jump over and start working on our journey. So contact signs up to Strategic Marketing Solutions, got it. Next, they say create an email. Well, I wanna have a step in between here because I wanna tag people with a welcome tag. And the reason for tagging is so that I can segment them out when I send regular email campaigns or other automations. I don't want to send another automation to a person who's just joined my list. So that's the reason for this welcome tag. So we'll go down here to tag and we'll select a tag. I believe I have welcome in here. Yes, I do. Welcome. And we'll add that tag and click save. Contact signs up they get a welcome tag, then we're gonna send an email. Now you can rename this internally to anything you want. Uh, the subject you wanna edit here and probably say, welcome, so glad you decided to join our awesome community. There we go. Maybe I can put that as the preview text. Then we'll click save. We're gonna skip Google Analytics for now. That might be a future video. If you're interested, let me know in the comments on how to connect Google Analytics to your journeys. Then we have select a builder. The new builder is still in beta. I prefer the new builder over the classic builder, uh, just my own preference. So I will select new builder. So under MailChimp templates, we have start from scratch. We've got some creative assistance going on. If you're not familiar with that, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, let me just go with minimal. I, I'm digging the minimal lately. So in minimal, we've already got our logo in there. 
we're gonna change this out. So I've put together a, a little email here, a little welcome email. Obviously you'd be spending a lot more time here crafting your message, making sure people are welcomed into your community. But in this email, it just says, we're so happy to have you as part of our club. Here's our getting started. You get 10% off the bookstore. You can look at our app and here we meet weekly on Zoom and any questions don't ask and read our latest blog article. That's what I've got so far going here. Now with this email, you can preview it to make sure it looks good. And if you have any merch tags such as first name, you can add that in into your email and you can enable live merge tag info here to display it and so that you know that it's working properly. You can also look at a mobile version of what your email will look like and the inbox version if you purchased any tokens for that. So that's our preview. Let's click X. For now, we're gonna click on save and return to the journey. So let's review. We've got contact signs up. They get a tag that says welcome. They get sent. Hey, we're here to help you get started. That's our welcome email. Then we're gonna wait a week and then we're gonna create another email or future emails. As we go along, we want to be thinking about adding branches off of this as a sequence of other things that might attract or nurture your relationship with your audience. So what we can do here, let's say that we've sent them our email about our latest products and we'll click a journey point here and we'll say, if else, if they did this, and if they didn't, then do something else. So you have to think about a yes path and a no path. So the yes path here is, did they open or maybe they, did they click? Here's the email that we're gonna be sent before we do this if else. Check out our products. Did they click that email? Or maybe we could do the one we're gonna be sending originally. We're here to help. And did they click on a link inside? Check out our products. So if they clicked, we're here to help. And if they clicked, check out our products. We're gonna click save. That is our yes. If they did those two things, we want, may want to add a tag here that says, we're gonna add an interested tag. Now what follows after that is, do they continue to be interested in other things or what are they interested in? And you can add tags as you go along. As they add tags, you can be sending other automations based on those tags. So I just have a tag here called interested. I could create a customer journey that starts with the starting point of interested. And then I can go through a whole workflow of the people who are with the interested tag. Does that make sense? Well, what if they didn't click on anything? Maybe we'll send them a, a, another friendly reminder of what's available in our club. So we'll click on send an email. And this email, uh, what we're gonna call it is not clicking. Our subject line is, maybe it's just checking in, dot, dot, dot. We hope you are enjoying the club. And then we create our email and design it. And we mention things like, hey, this is what's available in the club. This is what's new. Hope you're enjoying it. Maybe get a reply or some feedback. So what you're trying to do here with this email is you're trying to get the person to be interested in clicking on something or opening something so that you can track that information so that you can further nurture them down the path, the journey. So we won't create the email in this, we'll click close, but that's the idea. So you can go on down the line here on your path. You can create delays. So we'll click on another journey point. You can uh, wait for a trigger. You can wait for somebody to click on something, a specific link. You can group and ungroup people into certain categories, tag, untag. You can even unsubscribe them. So let's say, that this person is no longer interested in receiving any of your emails because they're not interacting with your emails, you could then add, if we go over here, we could just say uh, the person will then be unsubscribed from this list and click save. And that's it, they're done. You always wanna be making sure that you're having an engaging audience, making sure that you're capturing the information that you need to and making sure you're getting rid of the quote unquote dead weight, the people who are only there for the lead magnet, but not really interested in anything else that you've got to say or sell. For me personally, the welcome tag in this sequence is temporary. I want them to get further down the path so that I can manage their expectations and my expectations of what they're gonna be doing and what they're interested in. So 
I will be applying further tags down this list to segment them off and not necessarily keep them on a welcome sequence because the sequence is finite. At some point, the welcome will be off and they'll be able to go down other paths. Like I mentioned before, the interested path. Final step, uh, you can certainly test your emails here that we've created. You can then turn on your journey. If you have any further questions on the customer journey setup, please post them in the comments below. I do try to answer every single comment or question that comes my way to the best of my ability. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to click on some of these other videos here that might be of interest to you, and I'll see you in the next video.